He really needs to like pop off to do as well as he used to. So the one thing I would tell you is just like when you're playing games, don't focus on just getting good farm counts because a lot of people do that. They just like path for farm. You need a path armor for kills and ganks, and look where you can pick them up. Nukery! And- Oh fuck! Yo, this is a stacked robbery! Nukery and doing beat, no one dodge, please fuck. Holy shit! No one dodge, please. Holy fuck! I like- I definitely like them too. Can I send this in champ select? Alright, she go crazy. Please no dodge. Yes! Alright, we're good. Alright, let's run it. Who's the enemy jungler? 2021 worlds. Way! Oh shit, this is gonna be an interesting one. Okay, the RNG jungler, alright. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'm not reading chat this game. You guys got me fucked up. I'll talk to you guys after. Holy shit. Alright, let's go. RNG jungler, but I have the best solar laners on the fucking planet. Alright, this is. This is gonna be a very insane game. I don't think they're gonna late invade. Hecarim Graves 100% beats Naren, at least in early. I mean, Lika definitely invade me on Blue Grom. Especially since he hasn't shown yet. But, I mean, he has like three possibilities. He either invades bot side, because I'm pretty sure he's our top. So he either invades bot side, ganks, mid or ganks spot. Like, all three possibilities can easily be done. Mid could actually be diveable as well. Good. Actually, maybe look for a bot or a top gank instead for sure. Yeah, yeah it's the top. I mean, he wants me to do mid, but I think top's better. Yeah. Oh, I trolled by taking blast gun. It's fine Good. He only has 150 mana, but he does have... Yeah, okay. Wait, I accidentally didn't level R. It's fun. It's fun. It's not fun. Okay, I die for that, but it's fun. Yeah, I'll take it. One for one's not bad, especially because, like, I don't think Nars can carry this game, so even if he gets shut down, like, it doesn't matter. Drag's probably gone. Okay. Or I'll just, like, full clear downwards, get six, and then. I don't need a gank bot. I think I should just play for mid here. Just play for the. 50 CS per minute rise hack player. Perfect. 
Lee doesn't have a boost, so that means my boost's still up. My bot side safe. Nice. I mean, he's probably gonna play for Herald, isn't he? Because he has winning top and mid, so. Playing off like those sides, playing me good. Let's look for a bot type here. <laughs> hmm. I mean, he doesn't have ours, so we shouldn't, shouldn't die as well, but damn, that's actually really sad. That's really fucking sad. At least I got Sunder now, though, it's whatever. Oh, maybe he gets this shit? Potentially? Okay. This looks good, this looks good. And then Rise has ours, so we can ult in, and then maybe clean up Shuffle or some shit. This could be good. Nice. Holy shit. Alright, there we go. Not bad. Probably look for someone here. At least since we're spawning, so you could probably pat bot side and get like 4 kills here, so I'll just ping everyone off. That's why no one just needs to reset. Especially with drag coming up, like he should 100% be bot side. Yep, there he is. Um, might have to just give second drag. I mean, it's not ocean or infernal soul, it's only like mountain or cloud, so it's completely fine, honestly. To give. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy just doesn't fucking stop, does he? It's insane. I just counter John Lee topside here. It's my only play. Counter John is topside, take everything, and it's good. No way. I have ult up too and everything. We gotta kill bot side, so he's probably taking my blue then. I feel like that's his only play. Yeah, I'm gonna lose mid. I shouldn't get collapsed on by Lee here though. He should 100% be bot side. Okay. Nice. Ah, I'm dead. I'm lucky. Alright! Now we start building Sarak, so. I'll be good with that. Also, once I get MR, this game's like done. Because Yona's majority, or not majority, but he has like some magic damage, so does Lee. And then these two are like full AP. And Nar has like magic damage components as well. And he's not like a big physical damage healer, especially not with like Frostfire build. So if I just go like Serax into Spirit, I should be pretty unkillable. And then like Bramble Vest afterwards into Thornmail. It should be really nice. All right, we just see him play for Mountain Drag now. Well, since I'm getting my entire jungle taxed by these two, I guess I'm not gonna be able to afford Serax. I'm lucky. Hopefully they carry. I mean, I really wanna go for this scuttle because if I don't, I can't get Serax, but... If I get caught, yeah. I mean, I shouldn't die though, it's fine. Damn. I really want to get Serax, but I just can't. If I wait too long, then I don't get there in time. So, we're starting this fight without Serax. Happens. Only he didn't take all my raptors and everything. What the fuck?
them. If I have sacks there, I'd probably kill three as well. Whatever. At least soon be took all my raptors so I could get one shot. That's pretty good. Yeah, you took my bot side. Are you gonna 1v9 here? Damn, you took my bot side to get a to give a shot down. That's fucking insane. Great players on this whole system. We're chilling. Why aren't you paying gold needed for item? I mean, if I'm doing my raptor camp, and then my mid laner just walks by, EQs it, and seals half the camp. <laughs> like, I don't know, bro. That's like, that's like I'm there eating my chicken sandwich, and then a guy comes up to me, just takes it from me, starts eating it, and they're like, yeah, but man, you should have told him you were hungry. Like, no, this guy should just have, like, basic common sense, you know? Like, you're a world's player. Have basic common fucking sense. Don't take all my resources. Yeah. Damn. Uh -huh. Alright, we lost this one. It happens. Oh, you see spamming timers? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm unironically gonna report him after the game for like, I don't know, for something and hopefully with how much he's spamming, he has a chat restriction. Not trolling. Like, if I could get, like, I don't know, just stealing those raptors actually rubbed me the wrong way. And if you type too many characters in a league game, you're guaranteed to get chat restriction, so who knows, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, dude, spam your timers and then steal my cam, so play, bro. Dude, it just sucks, because like, the last two games I've played, I think my play this game, like, cause I can't impact, right? So I'm just gonna play to alt on whoever gets on rise. So if, like, Yonar's on rise, I'm just gonna arm for fear. Cause there's nobody on the enemy team that could actually, like, one-shot or anything like that. Nice. Okay, they're gonna get Baron here, but it's fine. If we can trade bottom here, it's decent. I mean, it just sucks, because Leona into like three fights in a row, but... I don't know, what can you do? I mean, is it even winnable? Like, I'm... I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Why does he, like, spam this? <laughs> it's like... Dude... <laughs> like, it hasn't changed in the last 10, 20 seconds. Like, it's fine. I don't know. Are you suspecting? Yeah, I saw. Someone typed in. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let's go. Okay, it's not good. I'm lucky. How does it feel to play with Doon B? 
It feels like him and Nuguri took all my resources this game to do nothing in team fights, get one shot and underperform, but it happens, what can you do? What can you do? Like sure, our top laner's 3 and 6 has no impact the entire game and is getting outclassed by a random NAR, but at least he has 278 CS, right? <laughs> like it's, it's just like cringe, it's just cringe, I don't know, that's fine. Like, maybe they'll learn and improve. You can only hope. Yeah, whatever. This game's just over at this point, so I'm lucky. I mean, this game has literally just been... Leona's into every single fight, more or less. Like, every single fight without fail. And Yon just gets on Rise, one shots him, he can't do shit. It's like, I think it just comes down to like, yeah, dude, like, he, like, why is he still typing cooldowns when, like, the game is ending? He's so weird. It's fine. It's fine. My ego on world champs. My world champions spent the entire game taking all my resources and then got outclassed by their counterparts and did nothing. Why would I, like,. Like, am I supposed to be like, oh yeah, guys, well played. Like, what? Wait, I can actually show you exactly where this game was lost as well. Give me a second. I can show you exactly where the game was lost here. Hold on. So look at this. It's before the third dragon fight. Look at what he does. So this is how it feels to play with Korean pros, right? In case you guys are wondering. I'm missing like 500 gold for my Serax, right? And I'm like, okay, let me do my Raptor camp. And he just steals like the majority of it. And because he stole the majority of this camp, I didn't have Serax for the dragon fight and we lost. Oh, and then while this is happening, we got Stargazer 7 on the Graves top. Stealing my grandpa as well. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, me. And look at... Okay, I want you guys... Like, we're not even going to watch the game. Just look at top lane scores, right? So, our top lane are 3-3-6. Their top lane are 4-5-2, right? And now let's look at the end of the game. 8-5-12-3-6-9. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, at least you got, like, fucking three assists this game. Well played, bro. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. It's actually just too insane, but it's fine. What can you do? How would he know it would be better to take 60 gold? But I mean, it's just like you see your jungler doing the camp and you're just going to steal half of it. That's like I walk mid, you're taking a wave, I smite your cannon, and then you're like, bro, what the fuck? And I'm like, I'm sorry, dude, I just wanted resources. Like, what? Kara Soku players focus on gang camp slainers and expect jungler to not tilt. But see, that's the thing. I'd be completely fine with that if then they carried the game, right? Like, if you're going to take my camps and carry the game, I'm fine with it. But if you're going to take all my camps, build full crit on graves, and get out damaged by tank Nar, go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? Like, it's just insane. Like, really, this is the guy shitting in your mouth, bro? This guy. Taking an absolute fat fucking diarrheic dump in Nuguri's mouth. Like, are you serious? In game? Like, Jesus Christ. Um, maybe he's just having an off day, whatever it happens. I mean, it happens, what can you do?